Hey everyone, welcome back to Accounting Basics. Have you ever looked at a company's financials and wondered, wait a minute, they say they made a profit, but their bank account looks pretty darn empty. Well, that's not a mistake. That's accrual accounting in action. And if you run a business or plan to invest in one, understanding it could be a game changer. Let's break it down simply. Accrual accounting is a method where revenue and expenses are recorded when they're earned or incurred, not when cash changes hands. So if you send an invoice today for work you did, even if your client pays you next month, you still record that income today. It's the opposite of cash accounting, where nothing is recorded until money actually moves in or out of your bank account. So why do companies use this method? Well, accrual accounting gives you a more accurate picture of a company's financial health, especially over time. Let's say that you pay your annual insurance bill in January. That's $12,000 out of pocket. Under cash accounting, your January looks awful. But accrual spreads that $12,000 evenly across 12 months. $1,000 per month, matching the expense to when the insurance is actually used. This method is essential for businesses with lots of receivables or payables, companies with inventory, and any business that wants to match revenues and expenses to the periods they actually relate to. In fact, public companies are required to use accrual accounting under generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. Let's look at a few key terms you'll hear often in accrual accounting. One, revenue recognition. This means you record the revenue when it's earned, even if you haven't been paid for it yet. For example, you deliver a product today, you recognize that revenue today, even if the client pays you next month. Two, matching principal. This is all about timing. Expenses are recorded in the same period as the revenue they helped to generate. So if you hire a contractor in March to complete a project you deliver in April, the expense shows up in April, not March. Three, accounts receivable. Money you're owed. You've earned it, but you haven't received it yet. Four, accounts payable money you owe. You've received a product or a service, but you haven't paid for it yet. By using accrual accounting, businesses can create income statements and balance sheets that reflect economic reality, not just their bank balance. Let's say you run a marketing agency. On August 1st, you complete a $10,000 project. You send an invoice that day due in 30 days you receive the payment on September 1st. Under accrual accounting, you record the $10,000 as revenue on August 1st because that's when you earned it. If you bought $2,000 worth of ad space for that same project, but only paid the bill on September 10th, you'd still record that expense in August to match it to the income it helped generate. This way, your August financials reflect both the revenue and the expense of that project, giving you a true picture of profitability. So, that's accrual accounting in a nutshell. It might sound a bit abstract at first, but it's actually about making sure your books reflect reality, not just cash flow. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more simple breakdowns of business and finance topics. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.